Another right to the left. You gotta handle that nest or they won't stop coming. The ground looks weak down here, Father. That gear. Looks like it was free. Maybe that lift can help us get high. It might be easier to break that ground from up there. We climbed over to the lift.
Break through the ground from up there? key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me.
father. Is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. <clears throat> oh, definitely need that. Taking a break before visiting Durlin? Very wise. He can be... a lot. What can I make for you? Hey! What happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? It fits. I'll disinfect my tools. I'll heat up the forge. Be safe! Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. What is this? A Lungbokka. I captured it many years ago.
You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Putin to kill them? I don't. If you could call so meager a task done, a wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Spartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Spartalfheim slag? Give it here. The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rigs.
His creature. You enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. <gasps> Too. If you could... Uh. Your brother. I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Never anger your feeling. Whatever loathing toward me. It's nothing to what I've said to myself. The Fen, if you could. I know. <laughs> Just the tail left now. The nest was hiding some sort of device. dock down there. But it looks like it's blocked. Maybe that dock can lead us to the tail. The 
Let's get back to the boat. Hmm? spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue.
Down that rope should take us where we need to go. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, Bubba? I don't think we can do anything with that yet. This creature, the mining rift, the mistakes, Vimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But... No. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Mir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. 
Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. We going to Durland? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Derlin. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here to collect on something, pal. Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, jump, jump. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name, and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Durlan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight.
He's passing through. thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. Heimdall. There's a name I don't miss hearing. No one said it until you did, just now. Dullin! He didn't need to say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. True believer, that one. 
There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find him. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. A oh, no, no! Come on, Kratos. Off your back. 